Hey guys, welcome back to Bush Bros Outdoors. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. We are out in the middle of the river doing an overnight video on our bushcraft treehouse. We've worked on it for the past winter. We're gonna set up hammocks tonight. We're gonna grill, we're gonna fish. We're just gonna hang out, stay the night. It's gonna be a great video. Let's go. We're leaving for our 24 hour challenge or overnight trip at the treehouse. We're gonna take two loads because we have so much gear. I'd just like to show you guys, all three of us are now on the tree fort, and this is the moment we have all been waiting for. For so, yeah, for the entire winter. This is so good, look at this. The entire winter we dreamed of the day it would flood. Oh my goodness. Absolutely legendary, folks. So awesome. There is no way to describe this. I really hope the video shows how awesome this is. It, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is so cool. It is so cool. There's literally water right there. The most awesome thing we've built. I mean, this this there, is unlike anything. Not, you could I mean, not have asked for a more perfect water level. I mean, there it's literally just right below us. And there is a slight problem with um, tonight if we do decide to stay. Um, the river is still flooding. Yeah, it's, it's and, peaking tomorrow. Yeah, so we don't have a ton of room to work with. The reason it's bad if the water gets too high is because we didn't tie our planks down. We tied down our support beams, but not the logs that we're stepping on. That's a so, rookie mistake, folks. Yeah, but it would have taken a lot of work to do it. Yeah. That's why we didn't. But once the water gets to that level, they're just gonna float away. For I sure. I mean, this is probably the last time we will ever be at this treehouse because we know that by, yeah. by, by, like, by tomorrow when this thing peaks, over gonna, half yeah. these logs are gonna float away. Got ourselves lunch right here. All right, so we finally got all of our stuff on the treehouse. It's time to get some hammocks set up. Now, since we're all relaxed, we're getting hungry, we think it's time to eat some lunch. Celebrate our wonderful time here at the Bushcraft Treehouse. Gonna celebrate. A little all, cheers. All the work we've done. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Alrighty, folks. It is a good day to be out here. Austin and Mason are gonna go pick up one of our friends and we're gonna take him out to the treehouse and get his reaction. And as far as what I'm doing, I'm just gonna be chilling in the tree for it and try to take a nap while they canoe back and pick them up. Yeah, what do you think? It's really impressive for a tree house. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very big. I expected it to be like half this size, but this is massive, honestly. So we've been here for a little while now and the water has kept rising which might be a problem come later tonight. So right now what we're doing is all the logs that are floating under the treehouse, we're gonna try to get them out and away because we don't want them to float up and knock our boards off our platform. <laughs> that one's out. There's one out. We got one more to go. A very similar scenario here with a big, big piece of wood underneath going from almost the whole length of the tree house. Yeah. Okay, ready again. I don't even know what this log came from. It's stuck under here. Hey, we're going. Yep. 
floor. It's moving. It's coming out now. Look at that. Look at how much has come out. Holy crap, it's a huge log. Dude. That is huge. We got it though. That that log right there, if the water kept rising, it definitely would have just destroyed our fort. It would have just pushed everything up and maybe it would have been in the middle of the night that our platform just got ripped to shreds or whatever, you know. Good thing we caught that. Yeah. Because we're at the treehouse and we can't really have a fire up here, we're going luxurious and we brought Hughes charcoal grill. It's gonna be real easy, real quick, and we're gonna cook some sausages, and I bet you they taste great. Alright, so as usual, we forgot utensils again, so I'm just going to go in with my shirt and call it a day. <laughs> that right there looks about good, done. It's a little hot. That's dinner in the treehouse 101, huh? I'm leaving, so uh, farewell to the Bush Bros. Hope you have a good overnight. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I guess we'll see when the video's done, if you guys actually make the night or if you guys get flooded. <laughs> so. We'll see. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming, yeah, Tegan. Thanks for yeah. having me. All right, guys. Sadly, Tegan has to leave, but that is not going to stop us from staying the night. Um, so we're going to canoe him back to shore, and then once once we all get back out here, we're going to shoot the Q and A for you guys. We're going to try to get everything done before the sun sets because moving around on this is going to be pretty dangerous when it gets dark. Alrighty guys, so while Austin and Mason are dropping off our friend Tegan, I'm gonna be showing you my sleeping setup for this trip. And Austin and Mason both have pretty much the same exact setup, um, just with like different sleeping bags and stuff. So obviously I have the hammock right there. And then I have my Thermarest sleeping pad. Um, and this is just to keep the uh, the heat from escaping from my butt. And then I also have this sleeping bag right here, which is what I'm gonna be sleeping in. If things do start to get cold, um, I can wear my boot liners at night and I'll just, you know, wear my coat and everything that I have on right now to bed. Um, and I also have a tarp that I might wrap around me if it's, you know, really cold, but I think tonight will be fine. It's only going to be like, it's going to be like 30 degrees, which is doable definitely in our hammocks. Um, and we've done negative 20 before, so it should be a great time. All right, guys, this has been an excellent trip so far. Um, everything honestly has gone to plan, like the water is at the perfect height. And I think yeah. tonight is gonna be a great night. Um, but before we go to bed, we're gonna do a quick Q and A for you guys. You sent in some amazing questions. And so we're gonna answer them right now. You wanna go. start? Yeah. So our first question is from our friend Ryan. And he asked, what is your favorite video that you have made? So I'm gonna say right now it's a hot tent overnighter. Hot tent. Or yeah, but also Bushcraft Treehouse episode one, just the whole idea, we were so overwhelmed after we did it and that was pretty cool. 
is there a chance that we might uh, get merchandise? And it's a common question. Common question that a lot of our friends have asked. And right now, we're not really focused on that because we're really focused on developing our channel and this is the prime time to do so. Um, so merch comes later, I'd say. Yeah. Another question, how long does the average 10 minute video take to film and edit? So for the average 10 minute video, which is normally a day trip, it takes us the entire day to go out there and shoot it. And then as far as editing goes, I would say anywhere from five to 10 hours per video. What gear do we always bring? We always bring saws, hatchets, paracord, knife, just like the basic survival needs. And then it kind of depends on what we're doing. Yeah. And like a lighter, just in case things go wrong. Yeah. Honestly, we'll link like some of our favorite gear in the description below if you guys want to yeah. check it out. Um, I don't know if it helps you out that's cool because you know we're down for that all right all right well so that wraps up the q a i hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about us and um about you know just our yeah. stuff if you guys want us to do more of these you know God, leave cool. some more questions down in the comment section and just say like do more of these i mean we're just going to continue on with the overnighter i mean the downside about doing the overnighter on this tree fort is that when it gets dark it's really hard to move around because there's you know a lot of sticks that can break and stuff mm -hmm. So, I mean, basically for the rest of the night, we're just going to be cooped up in our hammocks, just like chilling. Mm -hmm. When we built this treehouse, we wouldn't know the exact depth of how high the water was going to come, but we did it perfectly because if you look at this, I mean, the water is just below every single one of these sticks. I mean, half an inch, you know, it's crazy. If this was any higher, we wouldn't be able to stay the night. Awesome. I'm sitting in my hammock right now, toasty warm, and it is a beautiful night tonight. Now, there is a few worries that we have about the water flooding. While we are here at Rose, maybe about two inches, three inches, which isn't too much. Um, but we did put all of our gear on a higher platform. So if it did, you know, rise anymore, it won't float away. And I mean, that's pretty much it for tonight. We're gonna hit the hay or I guess the hammock, I guess, and just, you know, really chill out here and just have a great night. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, all the boys are up now. All of us slept pretty well. And it is such a beautiful morning out. We are excited for today. It's going to be a great one. We're still going to relax in our hammocks for a bit. But after that, we're going to have some breakfast. And we plan on going on a morning canoe ride, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be, awesome. be great. All right guys, this is gonna be the end of this Bushcraft Treehouse Overnighter. We really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember, if you have any Q&A questions, please comment them down below. Also, if you're interested in seeing the process of how this treehouse is built, we have four episodes on that, and we'll put that in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.